quick video tutorial to show the students of Camps Mount how to create your own Google presentation. You need to go to campsmount.com and sign into the website. I'm already signed in. You can see here that here we have, we have Real Smart. We're obviously not going to click on that. We're going to scroll down and click on My Google Docs. That will then send you to this interface, interface here um, and this acts like your document and you can save everything here. Um, and you then need to go to this icon up in the top left create new and obviously we want presentation and the interface for the Google presentation is very much like um, Google uh, like PowerPoint in order to get going um, I want to choose a theme and the background just go up here to format presentation settings and click on theme and you have a, a, a variety of different themes that you can choose as you can see I'm going to choose this one here called chalkboard it looks like a Blackboard. I'm just going to type in Nazi Germany by Mr. Portman. And it's already saved um, the presentation already. You don't save this to a hard drive, it's all saved online. You've got seven gigabytes of storage there. If I wanted to change it, I just click on it and I'm going to put Nazi Germany demo. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to add a new slide, go up to the top left, insert a new slide into the presentation. And it gives you a, a template in which to choose um, something from. I'm going to click on two columns and I'm just going to click on the type in Adolf Hitler and I'm going to put some writing in there. Adolf Hitler, leader of the Nazi party. And up here it's actually saving it automatically. You don't have to do anything at all. You can click on save now just to make sure if you like. Um, and that's now saved. So we can also add um, an image. If we go up here to, let me just get rid of that, if we go to insert image there, it will take you to your own hard drive. And I'm going to click in there, Hitler. I'm happy with that, so click OK, and then it will insert it into your presentation. We can move it around as necessary. I'm just going to leave it like so. You'll obviously add more information. I'm going to add a new slide there. This time I'm going to click on that one there. The Nazis got into power in 1933. I can make this writing small if I wanted to, just as you can using a Microsoft document like PowerPoint. I can make it even larger but I'm happy with it about 32 points. I can change the right, the color of the writing and then I can begin to write the Nazis were helped by the depression and so on. Again, let's add an image, insert, image. This will then go to your hard drive again. I've got some prepared here already. I'm going to insert another picture. I can manipulate the size of it, like so. Make it a little bit wider because I've made it squashed it in a little bit. And then I can also add another one. Insert again, image, use the file, double click, OK. And we'll put it there, like so. This time, we'll show you how to actually. Um, add a video from YouTube. So you obviously can't do this at school, but you can at home. Click insert video and this searches Google videos, but because Google owns YouTube, it searches the videos um, within Google. So I'm just going to type in Weimar Germany because I know that's one that I've actually done. And you can um, select them by simply clicking on one. Um, and you can, oh that one's not going to play, I can go up to this one as I know this one will work you can click play and you can check that that is indeed the video that you want that is the one that I want so I'm going to double click oops not double click I'm going to select a minute. I'm going to select video and there's our video we can make it bigger or smaller 
in order to actually view this in an email or view it in real smart we need to go to share settings here um, and we need to go to publish and embed but before we do that we can view it we can check it out by going to the top left view and start presentation and there's the presentation itself and you can control it here just as you can with PowerPoint this is all free let me show you um, how the video is embedded there's the video and I simply click on play and the video will play within the presentation so let me just click off that so let's get how we share this and make it viewable so you can um, put it on real smart or send it in an email we need to go here to publish and embed click on that and we need to publish it now then that's our link um, if you were to put this in an email or if you were to put it in real smart um, you can just copy and paste that it will appear within your documents in my google documents and i'm just going to click on that to make sure that it's working yes it is so let me just close that and this bit here is for if we want to embed it into real smart we can actually embed this player here so we can submit it as evidence there you can see so this is your player size i always like it um, to click the medium option and we're going to um, copy and paste um, that there that code because that's important to us um, if i go back to google documents you can see already the presentation has actually saved for itself um, if i click on that you can see that's it it's already saved so we need to go to real smart to submit it um, as you can see these are the different pies and i'm going to embed it let's just say within the hyperinflation section here so click on evidence here is here is my google presentation now you can either um, copy and paste the email address or you can actually embed it within the page itself it's very simple to do all you need to do is go to that html button there click on that and we'll need to put in a space where we can put it so let's paste that code in that we've just copied there it is it's as simple as that click on update and there is our presentation so i'm going to save it let me have a look at the evidence now let's go full screen so i can have a look at it and there it is actually embedded even including the video that we put in there as well another way to put your google presentation into real smart would be just to get the um, internet link the web address for it and you just go back up here to share publish stroke embed and this is the code that this is the internet web address that we actually want so we can just click on that that will then send it to the website where it's being shown copy that and then we can actually then sub um, let me just get it up here I can then submit this as evidence here is my Google presentation paste that in there and that's the link I'll be able to click on that and I'll be able to have a look at your evidence